Okay, so I wanted to go over V1, C1 equals V2, C2. The guys in an example that I frequently use in lab to test a drug called ibrutinib. It's a lymphoma inhibitor that has helped countless patients survive, uh, you know, when they refract or don't really respond to normal therapy. So I'm going to be testing it on some cells today. So if I want to take this ibrutinib stock, which is 10 millimolar, so that's pretty thick, that's a really highly concentrated drug. I'm going to circle that over here. I want to put that at, I'm going to want that to go to 20 micromolar for the test I'm doing. And the test I'm doing is going to be in here on these cells. You see there in this red liquid, that's the media. And they're just spinning around. The final volume, which is already set over here, is five mil. So we have some starting parameters here. We know the concentration I wanna to get to. We know the concentration that I have. We know the final volume that we're gonna end up in, but we need to know what volume from here to take out and put into here to make these final concentrations line up in this volume. So right now, I'll close this. Right now, these are in different notations, for example, milli, micro. So what I'm gonna do is just equate this. So 10 millimolar is the same thing is 10,000 micromolar, okay? Those are equal, this is all the same. I'm gonna do the same thing for volume down here. Since I wanna work in a smaller volume, I'm actually gonna use in this equation 5,000 microliters. So you see I'm kinda of keeping things on the same scale. So if we take these out for a bit, If we arrange this equation, so say, remember that I want this V1. If we arrange this, V1 equals V2 times C2 over the C1. So if I know my final volume is that 5,000 microliters, Sorry, I'm a little sick today in my voice. And the final concentration is 20 micromolar. We know that instead of using 10 millimolar, we're actually gonna use the same, the equivalent, 10,000 micromolar. See, because we converted from millimolar to micromolar here so that these two can be divided. Because you can't divide two different things at once. The volume is over here, so that can be in any volume. We'll just get the answer in microliters here. So, if you solve this on your phone, your calculator, V1 equals 10 microliters. So, we have five mils here. I can't just add 10 microliters of the drug straight in because that would give me 5,000 and 10 microliters for a total volume. It's pretty arbitrary in this assay, but what I do anyway is Take out 10, clip the tip, get a new tip on, and add 10 to my drug. And what we just created is five mils of drug inhibited cells with a concentration of drug at 20 micromolar. And so these are ready for testing.